production report, very, very popular, um, very valuable as well. So this report tells you basically how many units you ordered. Um, one of your decisions you make in MarkStrat is to, to order the number of units uh, that you think you're going to sell. So you, you go into the decide screen and you physically will say, okay, uh, I would like to order 250,000 units this period. Okay, so this, this report tells you how many you ordered, how many were actually produced, how many were actually sold, and how many are left over. Okay, so as a general rule, it's, it's much better to have product left over than, there, than it is to uh, sell out. You might think that selling out a product is great, that means there was solid demand. But the problem with that is you end up with a situation where consumers who can't buy your product are going to go buy it someplace else from a competitor. And that's a problem. Okay, so the challenge is, and this is one of the most difficult things to do uh, in this simulation, is to estimate demand. Therefore, to help you determine um, you know, production levels. Okay, and this is just kind of a summary of uh, the results there. Okay, so you go in and you basically say, okay, I think there's going to be X number of units demanded. We have X number of units still in inventory, so we're going to order. Um, some number of units to satisfy demand, you know, subtracting out what we already have on hand because we're going to sell those in that, in that next period. Okay? So, very, very important here. A um, couple things to keep in mind here is in the real world, if you are in the production department and your marketing team comes to you before the year and says, hey, we need to, we're going to sell a million units over the course of the year. Uh, typically, the manufacturer doesn't make all all million units before day one, you know, of that of that new year, of that new period. Uh, they kind of spread them out, space them out over the course of the year. Um, but in the simulation, we don't really have the ability uh, to do that. So basically, what the simulation does to kind of counteract that or to get around that problem uh, is basically there's this production adjustment, a, a plus or minus 20% production adjustment. So basically um, it will increase or reduce the your production plan or your production decision uh, up to plus or minus 20% uh, in order to better satisfy demand and minimize the number of units left over. Okay, so if you if you overestimate or underestimate demand, this plus or minus 20% adjustment is going to help you get closer to meeting all the demand in the marketplace. Okay, so it's, a, it's really helpful in that regard. Okay, um, so you can see that playing out in this example here. Uh, for both soft and solo, the production plan number and the production uh, actual production number are different. That means that um, they didn't uh, estimate demand right. And in both situations, they overestimated, and so therefore the, the plus or minus 20% production adjustment was able to adjust it down uh, to decrease the number of uh, units left over. Okay, so uh, with soft, for example, these numbers here, you see an end inventory of 14,000 units. That just means that all demand was satisfied, plus you had 14,000 units left over. Okay, so it was able to adjust downward um, production from 1,027 or 1 million and 27,000 units uh, down to 822,000. But because they overestimated way too much, you still had units left over even after that 20% adjustment. Okay, if you look at solo, solo you have solo you have. Um, basically the ideal situation. They overestimated uh, demand. Um, the plus or minus 20% adjustment hit, but their, their, the gap in their estimate and the actual demand was within that plus or minus 20% band. And so therefore you ended up with a situation where all demand was satisfied and you had zero units left over. You know, having zero units left over it's great because you don't have an inventory holding cost that goes over to the next period. Okay, but as a general rule, um, it's okay to have units left over. It's it's better than having what we call stock out. 
So if, if they had put production plan of 580,000 and um, production was, you know, whatever 20, 580 plus 20% was, you would end up with a situation where uh, you didn't have uh, enough products after the production adjustment to meet all demand. Therefore, there was a stock out. Okay. Um, down below, you have just um, basically uh, dollar figures related to production. Okay. So transfer cost. That's the the basically the um, unit cost of goods sold. Okay. Um, so you, it shows you quantity sold. It shows you. Um, it shows you um, you know cost you know individual cost of goods sold. It, it, Gives you total cost of goods sold, and then the cost of of holding the inventory. So in this case, sixty thousand dollars expensed to um, basically not sell in the inventory in the period in which it was produced. So it'll go to the next period.